Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed over to Sweden for some Reks Morgos. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Sorry if not Sweden. Uh, the thing is, the recipe calls for a rye bread, a Swedish rye bread. I don't have any Swedish bakeries around me. So as they say in Sweden, let's get baking. Uh, I mean, they say it's Swedish, but you get the idea. Okay, so in this bowl I've got all-purpose flour and rye flour. This was sent over by Hot Dog Judge. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Add in some baking soda and get that whisked together. Now we add in a bunch of molasses and milk. Get that mixed together and put it into a buttered loaf pan. Then it goes into a 200 degree oven for one hour. And then we turn up the temperature to 300 for another hour. Now we need to hard boil some eggs. What I do is I poke a hole in the round part of the egg, put it in cold water, turn on the heat. Once it starts boiling, take it off heat, let it sit covered for about nine minutes, then put in an ice bath. All right, while the eggs are cooking, let's make a Swedish mayonnaise. I'm using a recipe from SwedishFoods.com. I'm doing a half recipe. To an egg yolk, we add a little crushed garlic, English mustard, apple cider vinegar, and pepper. And then combine that a little bit. Then we uh, slowly whisk in a combination of olive oil and sunflower oil. There you go, we got a loaf of Swedish rye bread. Now we just gotta let it cool a little while. All right, now we're gonna poach some shrimp. Got the water boiling, put the shrimp in. Gonna take it off heat for about five minutes. Now we season our shrimp with salt and pepper. A little bit of lemon juice. Cut off a slice of this Swedish rye. Put down some of our Swedish mayo. A leaf of lettuce. Sliced cucumber. Our sliced hard boiled egg. And then our shrimp. Now I couldn't find shrimp that were smaller than this except for the ones in the can and uh, those are really small so. I'm going deluxe. Then we're to put a little mayonnaise on, just to kind of gild the lily. And some fresh dill. I took a bite out of it already, but I forgot to record, so let's give this Rex Morgos a go again. So you have the sweetness of the Swedish rye bread, which is not too far off from a Boston brown bread. Uh, you've got the richness of that mayonnaise, the fresh crunch of the cucumber, the eggs, salt, pepper, and then that brightness of dill that goes with everything, including the shrimp, which are uh, tasty. Mm. That said, I am gonna plus this up. I'm gonna add another slice of mayonnaise bread. Okay, let's give this Rex Moros plussed up with an additional piece of bread. Go. So the original Rex Morgos, I thought it was delicious. Uh, I probably should have been eating it with a knife and fork. I'm pretty sure I completely violated Swedish etiquette on that one. Sorry about that, Sweden. Um, I'm gonna give that I'm gonna give that a nine, nine and a half, somewhere in there. That was just a delicious sandwich. Plussing it up with the extra bread was kind of like you know, a nine, nine and a half. It really didn't add a whole lot. It was just another piece of bread. The bread is delicious, I love it, but no need to do that. Just eat the regular sandwich. Uh, I'm definitely gonna finish this and I would probably make this again. I don't know that I would go through the trouble of making my own bread and my own mayonnaise again, but I'd make this concoction again for sure. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.